Hey guys, this is Ed reporting live. I am finally hair free. No more hair. Finally. I usually dislike shaving because no matter how many times I do it, the hair regrows back again very quickly. So anyways, let's start with today's video. I am going to discuss two stories. I hope that I get them completed very fast. So the first one is about a lady who got fired after a Facebook post, which was pretty stupid once I read it to you. And then this man who recalls Case Bolt arresting him over a uh, headlight, which is ridiculous. Let's start with the lady. So the lady said, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. The blacks are the ones causing the problems and this racial tension. I guess that that's what happens when you flunk out of school and have no education. I'm almost to the point of wanting them all segregated on one side of town so they can hurt each other and leave the innocent people alone. Maybe the 50s and 60s were really on to something. Now let's let the bashing of my true and honest opinion begin. Go. Hashtag I'm not racist. Hashtag I'm sick of them causing trouble. Pretty ironic, right? That the same person who's calling other people ignorant is in fact ignorant herself for making that Facebook post. It's just very disturbing to see what she posted after this teacher decided to post this Facebook message. She was an ele elementary, sorry, I just struggle saying elementary. She was an elementary school teacher. She taught the fourth grade. Her name was uh, Karen Fitzgibbons. And after this incident, she was fired for being thoughtless. Then we have Albert Brown, who was arrested in the past by Eric Kosbelt. He was surprised with the whole incident that took place on June 5th with the pool party scandal. He said, wow, I can't believe it. This is the same guy who arrested me back in 2007. So he was arrested back in 2007 because of an illegal drug possession and Cosbell assumed that there was some illegal activity or, sus or suspicious activity going on. He said to Albert Brown that because he knew that he was smoking marijuana, if he found anyone on the east side of McKinney smoking, then he would get in much more trouble than he is back then when he was confronted by Cosbelt. Cosbelt did this the whole his old charges were without an arrest or warrant. Originally Albert Brown was supposed to face 22 years in prison but only served a little over two years. I think it was 747 days. And it's pretty surprising what we're seeing so far. A, a, a few defenders and a few people who are against him. Pretty surprising. Last but not least, Cosbold had 2200 hours of training. He took classes regarding race diversity, crisis intervention, and racial profiling. So that's Cosbold's history as a officer, former officer, might I add. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please subscribe for more videos. <laughs> I can't talk today. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And comment below so that I can give you a reply. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.